Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at an exciting topic, valuation of musical equipment or instruments. If you have been here for the first time, please subscribe to watch more episodes on machinery and equipment valuation, maintenance, life cycle analysis, and sales. Musical instruments are gadgets that are used to produce musical sound. We have lived with these instruments for a long, long time, and they have been evolving too with technological developments worldwide. Music and sounds produced by these instruments have been part and parcel of our everyday lives on phones, homes, and social gathering. Musical instruments are widely used at music concerts, religious gatherings, orchestras, and in studio and recording houses. Exam uh, examples of categories of musical instruments, they include percussion instruments, wind instruments, stringed instruments, and electronic instruments. We are going to look at each category. We have examples of percussion instruments. They include drums, marimba, tambourine, rattles, clappers. These are some of the percussion instruments. We have wind instruments. Examples include flutes, saxophones, horns and trumpets. Examples of stringed instruments, they include guitars, violins, and harps. Electronic instruments, they include keyboards, electric drums and we have another category of studio and recording instruments. These include amplifiers, mixers, speakers, monitors, just to name a few. When doing valuation of musical instruments, there are critical things that you need to know. Firstly, know the purpose of valuation. Is it for accounting purpose? Is it for financing, that is getting loans? Or is it for sales and purchase? These are very critical things that you need to know. Secondly, determine the basis of valuation. This is very important in that it describes the important premises in which valua uh, valuations will be best. The basis should therefore be appropriate to the purpose of the valuation. There are also important things that you need to take note of. Firstly, Inspections and investigations must be appropriate and done adequately to produce a credible report. Secondly, inspections, inquiries, computations, and analysis must be properly supported by reliable and sufficient evidence. These two things are very critical when you are doing valuation of musical instruments.
How do you then do the valuation? There are three important valuation approaches that are used. Firstly, the cost approach. This is based on the replacement cost of new uh, assets. And here you make adjustments to reflect loss in value due to physical deterioration and other forms of, of obsolescence in order to arrive at values. Secondly, market approach. This is another approach that you can use based on the sales comparables on the market versus the subject instruments that we are valuing and make necessary adjustments in order for you to get um, reliable values. Thirdly, income approach is done on the instruments that generate income, especially that um, on lease. The income streams are special, uh, are capitalized and discounted in order to arrive at values. These um, approaches are very critical. So you need to go through uh, one after another, or you can decide which one is the most appropriate, but it's best to use one or two approaches in order to make an analysis at the end of the exercise. Please note, all the views, opinions, and comments are purely my own based on my research, knowledge, and experience. They do not represent any appraisal or profession, organization, or firms I am associated with and working for. This video is made to provide information and educate those who might need valuation of musical instruments in future. It does not train you to become a valuer yourself. Please seek advice from qualified appraisers before you get into any valuation. Thank you. If you want more episodes, please subscribe and click on the notification bell. Bye. See you on the next episode.